Tanks, a showdown is brewing between Washington State and the federal government over plans to clean up nuclear waste at Hanford. The federal energy secretary came to Olympia to share a new draft plan for the project, and when he left, Governor Inslee could not contain his disappointment. Environmental specialist Gary Chittum joins us live from Olympia, where the governor just put the Department of Energy on notice. Gary? That's right, Meg. Legal notice. He and his attorney general are getting together to look at their options for possibly taking the Department of Energy to court. This after a meeting with U.S. Energy Secretary Ernest Moniz and the governor in here today ended poorly. The governor did not get what he wanted. We are entitled to an enforceable agreement uh, contractually and legally, and we intend to insist on that on behalf of Washingtonians to get this waste out of the state of Washington. The tone of that meeting could be seen on the faces of those leaving it today. Governor Inslee had demanded a comprehensive plan to clean up Hanford. He didn't get it. We do not have a, a, a set plan. I, I think we're going to have some, uh, some action in this regard in the next several weeks. Inslee is unhappy with the pace of the Hanford cleanup, where promises are made, but deadlines rarely are. 60 million gallons of the deadliest leftovers from the U.S. nuclear weapons program are simmering in underground tanks never designed to hold out this long. The treatment plant expected to be up and running, processing that waste into easier to handle glass, is years behind schedule and currently stalled due to design problems. The waste has burned holes in older tanks and is eating its way through even one of the newer double wall tanks. The older tanks are being drained, but the Department of Energy is running out of room to safely store it. Billions are spent each year, and while removal of the lower level waste and structures has advanced well, the remaining nuclear waste makes Hanford the nation's largest and most dangerous waste site. We uh, intend to get to an enforceable uh, standard and agreement with the department, and if we don't, we'll take other action. And that other action could include anything from some arbitration to going to the courtroom. Also, right after that meeting today, the state attorney general issued a statement saying he's directed his staff to come up with a list of legal options the governor can use to strengthen those negotiations. Reporting live in Olympia, Gary Chittle, King 5 News. But Gary, don't we already have agreements? We do. We have two very powerful agreements, but they don't have the kind of language in it that the governor wants. He wants to be able to say the next time the Department of Energy says we're going to miss a deadline because of unforeseen circumstances, the governor's going to say no. It says right here you're going to have this completed on this date, and we will hold you to it. All right. Gary Chittam for us in Olympia. Thanks, Gary.